My name is Molly. And my name is Paulina. My name is Andy. And we're, we're the, the Brawlettes. <laughs> I play bass. I play guitar and I sing. And I just play drums. <laughs> the bralettes is like something that means more than just the bra itself. It's something that pushes us to be a little more comfortable in our own skin. And it also like, for me, and I guess for me and Paulina at the same time, there was a lot of pressure on us to like look a certain way at a certain age and if we didn't keep up with that it's just I guess societal pressures in general so anyone can relate to it it's something that anyone can feel like they've gone through or pressure to feel like you have to look a certain way and like wearing a bralette it feels free and it feels comfortable and bralettes also did that for us I think like it made us feel better in our own skin and it made us vulnerable but also very confident in a way even though we used to struggle a lot and sometimes we still do but mm -hmm. that's the whole yes. point it's the whole <laughs> point of lifting not only us but uplifting girls anyone Everywhere. anyone's Everyone, body yeah. anyone feeling uncomfortable bodies change but uh and they fluctuate <laughs> but just throw on a little bralette and you'll be, you'll be cool as, as long as you feel comfortable yeah. that's all that matters pretty much I always tell people our sound is uh, pop punk. We kind of like came up with this thing. Like <laughs> we just said bubblegum punk. So it just yeah. like shows that we're kind of sweet-ish. Like Mr. Movie. And then we're kind of like punkier. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know harder. It's not harder. Not harder. Yeah. I didn't want to say harder. Rock around the edges. Yeah. yeah. With like Eddie and stuff. We were just yeah. like, you know, yeah. trying to show the contrast. Because I feel like there's a lot of contrast. Even yeah. with just like between Molly and Paulina's voice, Molly's is very loud and like powerful and Paulina's is very sweet and like timid and it makes it like a a big thin diagram mm. <laughs> in our in our sound, yeah. I guess. I don't know. It wasn't so much getting inspired, it was just kind of a they needed a bass player and I happened to already have one and I didn't really play too much and then I just started picking up more playing more shows with them. They started the band originally, so... I think what inspired us to start a oh. band was more to just have fun. Like, do what we see other people do. We used to always have fun going to shows. Like, we thought we were grown. Going to, like, shows by ourselves and stuff. Or It was just a good time. One of my biggest influences um, is Kate Nash. I've always... I listened to her ever since, like, she's had her first album, like, Made of Bricks. And um, she's changed a lot, like... Her music, has, her music, music style has changed a lot, and I don't know. I can just like relate to each, each era. little era she had. So like, yeah, it's it just definitely. That's just like my. She's my favorite. So yeah. I have a lot of influences as far as uh, music-wise and all that good stuff, but um, I guess it would have to be. I went to South by South by Southwest like maybe four, five years ago. Maybe it was four, four years ago. And I saw the band Heinz for the very first time, and they're an all-girl band from Spain. And I just thought uh, the way they were on stage, they were super cute and smiley, and they had a lot of energy. And uh, I mean, I didn't decide the next day that I wanted to play bass, but I definitely try to channel that energy when I play as well. When I was younger, when we first started the band, one of my biggest influences was the coat hangers. I think the, the trend here is women who inspire us. And make us feel like nothing's impossible. Um, they made me want to start a band and they made me look at Paulina like, hey, let's start yeah. something. I can't I can't really imagine playing, I mean, I can, but I can't really imagine playing bigger shows because I like how intimate they are. Like, I like having people close to me and being crazy and singing and stuff like that. And uh, I feel like the sense of community is better. Uh, there's lots of local bands that we're friends with. The Dallas music scene is really like, not only nice, but very supportive. 
Like I said, we're fr friends with a lot of people in other local bands. We know that they genuinely support mm -hmm. us by like listening to the music and we see them in the crowd. We'll sing their songs, they'll sing ours. So it really is like a community. Like we have each other's back. Like we'll never let you flop. We'll never let me flop. We're all gonna have a good time. In the early stages, I think it's cool because it, like Molly said, it feels a lot more intimate. And also, there, it seems like everything else is like possible. So at this point, you feel like you're on the brink of something, like something's coming, and that like excitement, that hope, is like what is fun about this stage, right? Because I mean, we've accomplished a lot of things that we've always wanted to, but there's also so much more that we want to do, and it still feels pure. It still feels like barely starting. Spotify actually tells us like the gender <coughs> and the age range. Um, most of our fans, I think it was like 65, I can't remember, yeah, it's like but it was 65% yeah. are girls. Yeah. And then it kind of goes um, like 25 um, are men, I guess it says, and like some non binary in there. So it's cool. It, yeah. I think there's just a lot of girls because like we get inspired by women other girls who are our age or who are around our age and feel the same emotions as us listen to us so a lot of our fan base comes through relating or seeing like dude there's an all-girl band there i think representation matters and when you see someone that looks like you or feels like you you want to support them just like you would want someone to support yourself whenever like i see like um guys in the crowd like singing like party or something like I'm putting my little skirt on <laughs> my baby pink vest and it's just I don't know it's just really cool <laughs> it's just funny it I shows like, it's diverse yeah it's diverse definitely yeah. what keeps me going is just the I guess the fan base that we've acquired we've made a lot of friends and I feel like I have to kind of see it through just to know what happens next just like the people we've met, like they're just really like, very supportive and stuff and like, I don't know, like doing this is like kind of like, kind of brought me on my shell and that also was like something that like, I don't know, just helped me grow like as a person kind of ish. And um, you know, stuff pretty shy, but you know, it just, it just helps Less a little bit so. more. Yeah, I love music so that's just, you know, just, it's just fun making it and seeing yourself, well seeing like us like get better, like, yeah. I just, concur. This is something that's tough, but also very fun and rewarding like when you feel yourself get better it's like dude this is sick you know like or when we come up with a new song or something sounds good and it's like thrilling in a different way of like oh i finished my homework or oh i made it through the shift it's like a different cool responsibility um my favorite place is transit it's a bicycle shop on in lower greenville and they also like have shows there and we've actually played there a couple of times before and yeah, we just, we just we love it there because the people are super nice. It's always a fun time. It's just a good place to go. It's we very hang out. welcoming. Yeah, very welcoming. The Bralettes were the first show we ever had, and it you was... guys played almost your first show here, right? Yeah, yeah. that yeah. was our first show with yeah. Molly. Yeah. It's like our first like research. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. And at that point, we, we love every play. time you play. Um, just uh, to toot the Bralettes horn, we had a band here. Um, they were nationwide. They were actually on a nationwide tour, and I would say 99% of people that showed up for that show were actually here to see the Brawlettes. Oh, my Instead favorite this... was that the Brawlettes brought their entire family <laughs> yeah. to come see a show. Uh, I ended up singing karaoke with, I think, your uncle. Uh, your uncle. Yeah. There was Sorry. actually stage diving, um, there was crowd surfing, believe it or not, in this small space, <laughs> and we loved every minute of it. Sometimes, like some of our shows, um, I'll be like, oh, Grandma, chill on this one. Like, yeah. you won't have fun, or like, you'll feel uncomfortable, like the venue or something. Yeah. But there, we can, we feel like we can invite anyone. Yeah. Like, anyone's welcome. Fran is super nice. He's super welcoming. And, yeah, we love them. They're good people. I think my advice is to believe in yourself, and if you do, other people will. And don't pay, play too much for free because. Yeah, don't do that. People who don't play don't realize how expensive it is. I mean, in any art, it is expensive trying to fund it, but things break, things get lost, people steal, and trying to 
pay for that. It's very expensive. Gas mm -hmm. isn't cheap. And gas isn't mm -hmm. cheap trying to get there. And you're gonna be hungry that night. <laughs> at some point. Yeah. <laughs> My advice to uh, anybody who's starting a band or trying to start a band, uh, just play as many shows as you can. Maybe not in a row. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, yeah, right. keep writing. Be confident. I see the bralettes in the future, um, just playing more shows, and I really hope for us to play a festival. I think that would be really cool. I think that so that's definitely one of our goals. I think something like maybe Bonnaroo would be cool, uh, cool festival. Definitely not Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> but if they ask us, we'll do it, honey. Yeah, we will do it. <laughs> When I see the bralettes, I daydream a lot. I feel like a little girl all the time thinking about the bralettes and what the future is for us. So I, I like want to see us on the road more. I we had a lot of fun when we were on tour. We had a lot. Of, it felt like a, like we got really close in the van. Even though we are close now, but when you're in a van, definitely got closer. Yeah. When you're in a van for who knows how long together, <laughs> you do get closer. And I think that friendship between all of us, including Tico, our manager, Daniel, our manager. Yeah. <laughs> it reflects. I just want that to progress and get bigger and drop the other responsibilities. Yes. We have an album coming out um, soon where the goal is to get out by the new year. We are trying really hard to make that happen. And we have a tour at the beginning of the new year, literally just January 1st. Mm -hmm. Starts. Yes. New year. Exciting. It's very exciting. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, we just, um, we're gonna keep writing songs, right? We, we wanna make new yeah, music we, videos. We, oh yeah, we want music, music videos. Music videos and like just a whole, um, I think a goal that we have also is just having a whole new set of songs yeah. that we can maybe just throw on another album or an EP and stuff that we haven't performed and so people will be like, oh, this is brand new bro, that stuff, I've never heard this. Yeah, it's always fun when you like hear your favorite artists, like they have new songs you never heard before. Yeah. It's like, oh my fucking God. And it's even better if you like it. Yeah. Because <laughs> sometimes your favorite artist writes a song and you're like, girl, what are you doing? <laughs> yep. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But <laughs>